Hey guys, Kitsune Baron here, and welcome back to Satisfactory. We've still got the snail up here, and we've had a lot, and I mean a lot, of off screen grinding for materials. But that's okay, because on the plus side, at last, we can build the space elevator. And oh my lord, I think it's even bigger than I remember it. Okay. Just gotta find where it begins here. I I think this is it. There we go. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. This thing is freaking humongous. Wait, what? Space elevator. Get 50 of these. Delivery will unlock tier 3 and tier 4. So that's what the space elevator's for. Okay. Guess I better get crack like it on that when I get a chance. But first, let's take care of this real quick. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures, aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Alright, I'm gonna go a little out of order here just to get logistics marked too. Because honestly, I do like the sound of faster conveyor belts or whatever it's providing there. Let's see. So I need iron plates, iron rods, and concrete. So as you can see, I've actually uh, upgraded my whole factory over here a little bit. So everything, even, <laughs> even the copper ore all the way back over there is being collected all into this tiny little box here. Let's actually see how it's doing. Okay, we've already got 300 iron rods necessary. Let's grab a little extra and the copper. Or concrete, rather, I'm sorry. And actually, let's configure this. Oh, it's not even on. Hang on. Boom! And bam. Okay, we should still be at enough power to not have too much of an issue here. And you can stop. Other milestone at. Oh, nice. It actually, uh, wait, does it carry over the inventory space I put in the Oh, it does! Nice! Okay, so you can maintain progress on another milestone if you want to change on some other ones. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how much that helps me. Let's see, I think as nice as 
faster conveyor belts uh, sound. I think I might need to get into field research, whatever that may include. Let's grab a little bit of this and this. Take a look at what we need. Okay, so we need copper wire plates and screws. Let's see. Well, we've already got an excess amount of iron bars, so if you'll excuse me, everyone, I'll be right back. Okay, the final four plates are in. Let's push this big red button and watch the pod go bye bye. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. Interesting. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Interesting. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. What do I need to make the man? A cable and reinforced iron plates by the look of it. So this could take yet another while. As this game does. Not to say the game is bad or anything. But, but it's like Pokemon, it takes time. Alright, the pod has returned. Let's see what other milestones I can work on here. Right, I've done all of tier 1, so let's... Hmm, what do we have here, though? Assembler? It can be automated by fading parts into it with a conveyor belt connected to the input. The produced parts can be automatically extracted. I'll get back to this in a second. What now? Now, what is indeed our major malfunction? No fuel. Well, let's fix that, shall we? There we go. Let's see what else we can do. Sorry if this is taking so long, but like I may have said in earlier episodes, this this sort of stuff takes time. But I think we're eventually going to get to the point where we no longer need to take as much time. Let's see, can I make the man in the meantime? Built the man. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, an organist. Hang on. What? Wait, wait, wait. What? That was like. Wait, they are used for something? Let's see. The species of semi-slug seems to emit a weak potential energy from its crystalline shell, which R&D thinks might be extracted to improve the efficiency of your work on project assembly? Ooh, ooh, okay. Let's see. Where's that green power slug at that I collected? There we are. Okay, so how long did it say it was gonna take? Let's see, three seconds. Oh, that's not too bad. Begin research. Let's see. The analysis is complete. 
New recipe unlocked. New research available in the MAM. Overclock production? Oh, baby. Five minutes, I... Okay, that's fair enough, I suppose. Let's see. Power shard. Okay, so when I collect the green power slug... I could then make it into a power shard. And in turn, it'll increase the efficiency on one of my machines. There is no part of that explanation that I did not like. So let's just grab this bad boy here real quick. And make ourselves a power shard. There we go. Now what could you use a good overpowering? Oh wait, I can't even use that yet until the research is done. Alright. Back to the waiting game then. Alright, let's see what other milestones we have actually. Let's see, part assembly, which I decided to take up instead of logistics because... Just because faster conveyor belts does sound nice... That doesn't mean everything's going to be alright. So let's see what we have here. Part assembly. Let's see. This parts can be automatically extracted by connecting a conveyor belt to the output. Let's see. Copper sheet. Okay, another use for copper, I suppose. The moving parts of a motor. Used for crafting. Used for crafting. Project part one. Send it up to the space elevator to complete phases of project assembly. Okay, so this is what I need in order for tier 3 and 4. So I'm going to stay on this one for a while yet. Hmm. I wonder when I unlock this thing if I can actually tone down the efficiency of the miners. Because I think that actually might help even things out and consume less biomass. Because if I'm looking at this correctly, power consumption of 5 megawatts, it looks like. That's 4. Yeah, these things could use a bit of a toning down, especially at 60 ores per minute. Which is definitely way more than what <laughs> these machines can keep up with. I know I said eventually I was going to get to the point where everything would come full circle, but I didn't expect it to be this soon. Uh, what else is there? Obstacle clearing. Hello! Used to clear an area of floor that is too difficult to remove by hand. I can have a chainsaw. Okay, let's see how our research is doing. The analysis of overclock production is completed. Please choose a new node in that tree to begin a new analysis. Nice. Oh, we need to do research on that real quick. And we're done. What other research I can get done here?
Big red button. Do your stuff. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. I see, so that's where the assembler comes in. So if I do it like that, it increases the capacity. Now that, I can get behind. Let's see, what's the next milestone I should work on? <laughs> Obstacle clearing, no question. Okay, so let's see, I need screws, cable, and concrete. Concrete should not be an issue. I think the biggest issue is going to be screws. There we go. Milestone reach. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket dimension. What? Ooh, I get more inventory space. Ah, who am I getting? We all know what I was so focused on. <clears throat> this is this is gonna be a chore. Let's see, resource sink bonus. Got excess resources? Fear not, for fix it does not waste. The newly developed awesome sink turns any useful part straight into research data as fast as you can supply it. Participating pioneers will be compensated with coupons to be spent at the awesome shop. Redeem your fix it coupons here. For those employees going the extra kilometer, we have set aside a special bonus milestone and reward. Let's see. Get your coupons in the awesome sink program now. No refunds possible. Interesting, interesting. I think I'll work on that actually. That does, in fact, sound very promising indeed. New object added to the object scanner. Not that. Uh, actually, how do I make an object scanner? Oh my god, why does everything need screws? Alright. Here we go. Oh, that's Milestone new. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. I didn't even edit that fist in, jeez. Awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fix it is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Go awesome. <laughs> Uh, Alright, with that in mind, everybody, I think this is going to be a good stopping point. So thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Satisfactory. This has been Kitsune Baron, signing off. Until next time, everyone.